I've got a trivia question for you. What has the most beneficial nutrients of any grain and was named the new quinoa by Vogue magazine? Are you ready? If you guessed sorghum, you're right. If you're like, sorghum what? Well, you're not alone. It's not quite trending yet, but I'm out to change that. After you discover all the benefits it offers, sorghum versus other grains, I think you'll join me on my sorghum crusade too. Okay, so why do I love sorghum so much? Well, number one, this is probably my favorite reason I love sorghum. Out of all the different types of grains in the world, sorghum is one of the only ones that doesn't contain lectins because it doesn't have a hull. Halls in general contain the lectins of grains, and halls are there to protect the little baby from being eaten. And as you know, lectins in the halls are one of the major defense systems that plants use against being eaten and protecting their babies. Sorghum, like millet, are the only two grains that really don't have a hull, and no lectins have been discovered in sorghum. So that's a win-win. Now, why should you avoid lectins? Well, if you're new to this channel, I can't go into all of that, but lectins are designed to make you sick and feel un unwell, and that's how they work, to keep you from eating them. Now, sorghum also has a unique nutritional content. Sorghum is rich with polyphenols, especially the flavonoids. Flavonoids are beloved by our gut microbiome. In fact, polyphenols in general are loved by the gut microbiome. They're a prebiotic fiber in and of themselves for the gut microbiome. And as you learned in Unlocking the Keto Code, my new bestseller, these polyphenols are one of the most important ways that your overall health can be improved. Sorghum is also high in bioactive lipids like polycosinols and phytosterols. If you're going to have a grain, get those benefits in a grain rather than taking it as a supplement. Plus, one serving contains 55% of the phosphorus that you need and also about 50% of the recommended iron that you need. It's a great source of magnesium, copper, zinc, and potassium. The sad thing is most Americans are deficient in all of these nutrients because our soil has been wiped out of these nutrients. So get these nutrients in the form of a grain. Now, number three, they can actually help feed your gut buddies. Fiber in sorghum will actually help you feel fuller longer. And the fiber in sorghum plus the polyphenols makes your gut buddies happy. Now there's one further bonus about sorghum, particularly in people who are worried that they're not getting enough protein. When I ask them to please try to get proteins from plants rather than animals, sorghum has an incredibly high protein content, particularly for a grain. So a half a cup of uncooked sorghum has 11 grams of protein. And that's a real protein powerhouse. Again, if you're looking to get a great source of plant-based protein for lots of other benefits as well. Okay, how do you eat sorghum? Well, my wife and I use it just the way you normally would use other grains. Uh, we make a great sorghum stuffing for uh, Thanksgiving. You can also use millet as the stuffing. You can use them interchangeably. Many of my patients who will not give up oatmeal, if I can switch them to sorghum as their, quote, oatmeal, they are happy campers. 
we make a great tabbouli salad minus the tomato with sorghum instead of couscous. And it's a real party pleaser at this time of the year. One of the ways we do this almost every day is swap out your popcorn for popped sorghum. Now you can make it at home from sorghum, but quite frankly, it's challenging to pop it by yourself. You'll get a lot of old maids, and after doing this for a few years, I finally gave up. Now, buy some from Nature Nates. It's on Amazon, you can go to their website. Here's the deal. Pop sorghum smells like popcorn, it looks like tiny popcorn, it tastes like popcorn, but it doesn't have a hull, so you don't get all those things stuck between your teeth or in your gums. It's a go-to. I just had some last night, as a matter of fact, and I poured olive oil on it instead of butter. Now, just remember, these kernels are very small, but it looks like mini popcorn. Now, use sorghum flour instead of white or whole wheat flour in baking. In fact, I've created a waffle mix from sorghum flour that's delicious. In fact, your family won't even know you swapped out the Bisquick on them. Pasta. Sorghum pasta is readily available now, like my Gundry MD organic sorghum spaghetti. Now, the cool thing is, unlike most other gluten-free pastas, this has a very similar texture and taste to regular pasta, and it really holds up the next day for leftovers. And finally, I'm such a fan of sorghum that I put it in my most delicious confection yet, the Gundry MD Sorghum Chocolate Bar. The Sorghum Chocolate Bar has all the taste qualities that you're looking for, but it's dark chocolate, it's sorghum, and it tastes fantastic. In fact, I have a square every night whether I want to or not because of the health benefits of the polyphenols in the dark chocolate and in the sorghum, and I'm having something taste great that feeds my gut buddies. So, try it. Now, where can you get sorghum products if you don't come to Gundry MD? Well, thankfully, many stores now carry it, like Sprouts and Whole Foods. You can also get the raw grain and flour on Amazon. Please go to Thrive Market, one of our sponsors. You can find it there. Okay, sorghum is the new quinoa. And if you watch me for long, you don't want to eat quinoa. Eat sorghum instead. Try it in all these new forms, and you'll become a sorghum fanatic like me. This next one is sure to surprise you. Try swapping regular pasta that's full of gut-harming ingredients to sorghum pasta. We actually stock a delicious sorghum pasta at Gundry MD. So check out our link to try it.